Um, so if I'm selling it for $25, it's a $15 profit. Um, unfortunately, I'm just going to sell it for 9 Actually, yeah, $25. That's, that's good. I could discount it on a on a special day or offer a five dollar discount and check out. So those are healthy margins. Fifteen dollar margin. I'm one click launch. There we go. Um and uh we're just waiting for it to, to load. It's live. Okay, it's live. It is live. Okay, we're gonna go back here and then refresh. This is this is the apps, and this is my store, by the way, on on Shopbase. As you can see up here, it's on Shopbase.com, and I got the two apps here. So using Print Hub, I should have one new product because I just added I added the product right here. So that's my product. Um, the analytics, of course, uh, does does nothing right now because I'm just making it. The discounts, uh, I could create a discount. So I want to create a discount for uh, for a specific product. So back to school. Okay, so I'm just going to create a back to school discount. And um, it's just going to be like $5 off. $5, there we go. specific product um so yeah just this product right here it looks like the one i just made i'm gonna click that um and then okay yeah so there is some minimum requirements customer eligibility usage limits limit to one for customer and then it's gonna start today there we go so I just created a discount back to school they got the uh, the free shipping buy one get Y yeah so those are the kind of discounts they have and if I click right here I'll actually see how the store looks like so this is a store um, it says announce something here it's really, uh, really bare bones. It's just a template at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and click on catalog. Yeah, I think, yeah, catalog. And then, woo, I don't even know where my product is at. It says it was live, so let's go back here and find out exactly where it's at. Products, it's this vendor. Um, if I click on it, it will, Go to the product page where it's got product type, collection, premium, um, and all the information about the product here. And at the very bottom, the search engine listen preview. So very, very similar to Shopify and the product page, but I kind of do like the style, the whole style of Shopbase. It's, it's nice. It looks nice. I'm gonna click view, see if I can find it. Oh, so products, and then yeah, that's where it's at. So this is the product page, and I haven't really done anything to the product page. And it says 16D, the price. I, I don't know why it says D, but I'm thinking that means dollars. It's a little different there. Um, the colors are right here. And um, yeah, the size, and then this uh, trust badge is uh, actually came with the store theme, and um, yeah, and this this right here I didn't write that on. Uh, as you could tell, that was um, built in, and then uh, as you can see when I scroll down, uh, at the very bottom there is the sticky buy now button. I'm sure that looks really great on on uh, mobile. Yeah, I'm I'm, a, I'm actually gonna check real quick. If I go to developer mode, we're, we're gonna take a look at how it looks like on mobile. 
So this is how it looks like on mobile. Um, yeah, with the sticky thing at the bottom. So 